Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to create a 50 by 30 floor plan with exact measurements in Corel Draw. You can download the JPEG format of this floor plan on my website. First, click on new document. Then select feet for units of measure. Since we need some extra space, Set the width and height of the document as 59 feet by 39 feet respectively and click on the OK button. Next, you will need to create a bounding box for the entire floor plan's measurement. To do that, draw a rectangle, click on the lock symbol to unlock aspect ratio, then enter the width and height of the rectangle as 50 feet by 30 feet respectively and press the enter key. To center the rectangle to the page, go to the Align and Distribute in the Object menu and click on Center to Page. Alternatively, you can also press the letter P on your keyboard. Next step is to create the walls. In this tutorial, I shall be using the measurement of 9 inches for the exterior wall and 4.5 inches for the interior wall. Since the measurement of wall thickness is in inches, you will need to change the units of measure to inches. To do that, deselect objects by clicking in the empty space and set the units to inches as shown. Next, select the rectangle you just created and click on the contour tool. Enter 9 inches for the contour offset and click on inside contour. Next, go to the object menu and click on Break counter apart to break the countered components separately. With this step, a 9 inch exterior wall is created. Next, to create the inner walls, you will need to break the inner rectangle into individual lines and copy them at a specific distance. To do that, first select the rectangle, go to the object menu and click on convert to curves. Then take the shape tool, select each node one by one and click on break curve as shown. Next, go to the object menu and click on break curve apart. With this step, all lines of the rectangle are separated which enables you to move or copy them independently. Next, let us create the inner walls of the bedrooms. Both of the bedrooms are 15 feet by 12 feet. So, go to the dockers in the window menu and click on transform. Then click on position. With transform tools, you can make multiple copies of the objects at a specific distance. You might have to switch between feet and inches before copying the lines as per the requirement. For an example, you can copy the lines at the distance of 15 feet and 12 feet respectively in the X and Y directions to create the bedrooms. You will need to enter the values, type 1 in the copies and then click on the apply button. You might have to enter negative values to copy objects in reverse direction. Please refer to the demonstration. Now let us create the storeroom, hall and kitchen.
To trim the lines, you can use the virtual segment delete tool and click on the portion that you want to trim. Virtual segment delete doesn't separate the line segments, so you will need to use the break curve apart option as demonstrated. Please also note that you may not be able to br use break command on multiple items. Now to create the porch area, you will need to break the outermost rectangle into separate line segments and make copies as demonstrated. Next, to create the doorways, you can simply extend and copy the lines and trim them as demonstrated. The main door is in this floor plan is for 3 feet 6 inches wide and all other doors are 3 feet wide. Now let us see how to create the doors. The door frames in this floor plan is 3 inches and the door thickness is 1.5 inches. You can copy the lines and grab them by the nodes and align them as demonstrated.
you can create arcs using the ellipse tool as demonstrated. Once you're done with the doors, group all the door components together. Later, make copies of the door, flip rotate and place it where necessary. Next, create the windows using the rectangle tool. All windows in this floor plan are 4 feet wide except the kitchen which is 6 feet wide. Next, download and import the floor plan symbols PDF from my website, group, resize and place them as demonstrated. You can create slabs in the kitchen and storeroom area as demonstrated.
Once after placing the floor plan symbols, you can create annotation using the text tool. The font size used in this floor plan is 1000 points. Next, download the car symbol from my website and copy it into the floor plan. Finally, create dimensions for the overall floor plan using the dimension tool. The font size that I have used is 2000 points. Since the dimension arrows aren't completely customizable, I have used the polygon tool to create triangles and align it with the dimension lines. I have also changed the line thickness to 100 points.
dear viewers i hope that this tutorial is helpful please like share and subscribe my channel i shall see you all in my next video with another awesome content until then it's bye from hbn infotech.com